We're all being told that the best way to combat the coronavirus is by washing our hands thoroughly with soap and water. But when we can't get to a basin, many of us are also using alcohol-based hand sanitizer. So much so that supplies have been running low. One company we met in Taiwan last year hopes to have found the solution. This is the Eliclean, a device that's claimed to create your own disinfectant. The first step is uh, we just add water into our electro reactor and then the water structure will turn into the hydrogen peroxide. And the hydrogen peroxide is a kind of oxidant. Mm -hmm. So they can uh, damage the structure of virus and bacteria easily. Hopefully that'll do the trick. The company does expect that this protects against the coronavirus. The issue is they have actually sold out of them. But it's not just about keeping our hands clean. How about our devices? This week, Apple issued new advice about how to keep our phones clean. But I would suggest that you don't do anything until you've heard what Chris Fox has to say. With the growing concern around coronavirus, I thought I'd be better safe than sorry and smothered my phone with antiviral gel. But it turns out that some hand gels and sanitizers can actually damage the oleophobic oil repelling layer of your phone screen that's supposed to keep fingerprints off. So check this out. If I put my phone next to one that has the layer intact, you can see that this one looks like I've been eating pizza off it. It's covered in fingerprints and oil. This one does have some fingerprints on it still, but not nearly as many. And now if I wipe down this phone with a microfiber cloth, the fingerprints come off super easy. And if I try this one, some of the oil comes off. You can see it's still really smeary. And as a final test, if I pop my fingerprints on there, you can see that this one is absolutely gross and this one not nearly as dirty. So how can you clean your phone without damaging it? Well, this week I met with microbiologist, Dr. Lena Sirik, and she told me how. You don't actually need to use antibacterial or antiviral products on your phone. You can just use simple soap and water. Unplug your phone, turn it off and remove the case. Dampen a microfiber cloth with water and simple household soap. Gently rub the surfaces of the phone with the damp cloth. Take care not to get moisture in any of the openings because even water-resistant phones lose their protection over time. Finally, dry your phone with a clean microfiber cloth. We haven't used any antibacterial or antiviral gel on these phones, so how do we know they're clean? Well, we can use these swabs and this device, which tell us the level of microbial activity on the phone in relative light units or RLUs. So the higher the number we get, the higher number of germs. The results are pretty good. So we would want a surgical surface to be uh, a reading of 50 or less, and all of our phones have had readings of less than this. So we're pretty good. So they're significantly cleaner just with soap and water? Yep, they are. And how is that possible without using antiviral gel? What's going on here? The main ingredient in the soap, which is the detergent, is basically lifting off the grease and the grime and the germs from the surface of the phone, which is then rinsed off with the water, and that's what makes it clean. Now, there are a few other ways you can clean your phone safely. This week, Apple changed its guidance and said if you have an iPhone, you can safely wipe it with a 70% isopropyl alcohol wipe, the kind you can get from a computer shop or online if they haven't sold out. There are also devices that can sterilize your phone using ultraviolet UVC radiation. This one's called phone soap. It costs about 80 pounds, although there are cheaper ones available. And what you do is you pop your phone inside and let it cook for about 10 minutes. And the manufacturer says that shouldn't harm your device, but some phones or cases could be discolored over time. Finally, what can you do if, like me, you've stripped the oil repelling coating off your phone screen? Well, there are some ways to fix it. First of all, you can get a screen replacement, although that's not gonna be the cheapest option. Or you could stick on one of those glass screen protectors, which is a quick and easy way to fix the screen. Or you could try this, it's called Liquid Nano, and this wipe puts a silica dioxide coating over the display that the company says will restore the oleophobic properties for 12 months. It costs between 20 and 40 pounds, and you have to let it set on the phone for at least half an hour. So I've tried it out on the phone I ruined, and I have to say, it seems to have done a pretty good job. So that's one solution 
to what could have been an expensive mistake. Just remember that if you do clean your phone, as soon as you touch it, you're putting germs back on it again. And the most important advice remains to wash your hands thoroughly and frequently.